Hello everyone. You can use Microsoft Excel to access data from wide variety of external data sources. In this tutorial, you learn how to connect Excel to an Oracle database. You can then import the data into Excel and explore it for further analysis or use it for creating reports or charts in Excel. Before you start this tutorial, I want you to read a note first by clicking the link in the top right corner of your screen. This tutorial requires Microsoft Excel, Oracle Database and HR Sample Schema. Both Oracle Database and HR Sample Schema installation videos are available on this channel. Start Microsoft Excel and create a new workbook. On the ribbon bar, click the Data tab and then the Get Data command. From the list of databases, select Oracle Database. If this dialog box shows up, click Learn More to download and install the Oracle Data Access component first. Make sure that you use matching Excel and Oracle Data Access component. For example, if you have installed a 64-bit version of Excel, then use the 64-bit version of Oracle Data Access component. To find out what version of Excel is installed, in the Excel application choose File from the menu and then select Account. For more information such as the bit version, choose About Excel. A dialog box opens showing the full version number and bit version. Click here as this PC has 64-bit installation of Microsoft Excel. Now scroll down and download this file. A free Oracle account lets you sign in to Oracle portal and download software. Close this dialog box as well as Microsoft Excel before starting the Data Access component installation. Next, extract the downloaded zip file and install the component. During the installation, do not leave this checkbox blank, otherwise Excel cannot detect the data access component installation. Please note that you can also see this additional step during installation. Just click next if you see this step. Now that the installation has completed, let's try connecting Excel to the Oracle database again. Enter a connect string in the box here. The connect string takes the following basic form. If you are an Excel user, and do not know about Oracle Database Connectivity, an IT person in your company can help you with the database connection details. To connect to first pluggable database on this PC, I'll type localhost because this PC is also a database host, default port 1521 and service name is xepdb1. Additionally, if you want to load data using an SQL query, 
then under advanced options you can enter or paste an SQL statement that will be executed right after establishing a connection to the data source. Next, click the database tab and enter your credentials here. I'll connect to Oracle Database as the user HR. Please note that Oracle Database 21C and HR Sample Schema installation tutorials are also available on my channel. Command not properly ended. OK. Let's edit and correct this query. Just remove this semicolon at the end of the SQL statement. The data has successfully been imported into the Excel worksheet. If you need to change the result set, you will need to edit the contents of the SQL statement. To do so, select one of the cells and click Query tab. Then click edit. The Power Query editor appears. Under applied steps, in the query settings pane on the right, click edit settings for the source step. The query dialog box appears. Now make your changes in the SQL statement box and then click OK. The new results appear in the data preview. Next, in the home tab of the Power Query editor, click close and load. The new results appear in the worksheet. Sometimes you need to display all your database objects. Next, you learn how to connect to a database and access the database objects within. Type the connect string. Do not enter the SQL query this time. You have already specified your credentials during the previous database login. Now in the navigator, select the table you want to retrieve data from and click load. If you want to connect other Excel workbooks and worksheets to the database, then click the Data tab and use the Recent Sources dialog box to display a list of frequently used data sources. Now click the connection from the list and then click Connect. Let's now see how to remove one or more data connections from the workbook. First, go to Recent Source dialog box. Now clear the desired connection entry from the list. Further, close this workbook and then create a new blank file. On the Data tab, click Get Data and then Data Source Settings. Now right click the Data Source entry and select Clear Permissions.
Finally, if you no longer need to access data from the Oracle database, you can uninstall the Oracle Data Access component from the system. Please follow these steps. Goodbye.